the meaning of life. You want to know what it is? <laughs> Love yourself. That's it. Love yourself. That's what I think it is. Just love yourself. Dear brothers and sisters, we often hear and share many conversion stories, but the one we are about to tell you is truly extraordinary and moving, as it involves one of the most remarkable American actors, Jim Carrey. The words we will soon hear from him are deeply emotional and touch the heart of each and every one of us. We have always known Jim Carrey for his unmistakable comedic style in iconic films such as Ace Ventura and The Mask. Over time, however, we have discovered another facet of his talent, his dramatic side, through memorable roles in The Truman Show and Man on the Moon. Beyond his film career, Jim has always shown a deep spiritual sensitivity and a commitment to social issues sometimes putting him at odds with the very entertainment industry that made him famous. In recent years, Jim's life took a dramatic turn, marked by the tragic loss of his former partner, Kathriona White, who chose to end her life. This event triggered a media and legal storm against Carrie, with White's family accusing him of being a cause of her extreme action, pointing to behaviors that they claimed devastated Kathriona's self-esteem and even exposed her to harmful substances and degrading environments. The legal battle that followed ended in 2018 with a verdict of innocence from the Los Angeles court. But for Jim, the internal process had just begun. This dark period marked the beginning of a profound personal reflection, an inner journey that led him to rediscover and embrace the Christian faith. This conversion was not just a spiritual refuge from life's storms, but a true rebirth, a way to find new meaning and direction. But it is his own words that stir emotions and make clear his conversion. And uh, ultimately, I believe that suffering leads to salvation. And in fact, it's the only way that uh, we have to somehow accept and not deny, but feel our suffering and feel our losses and uh and then we make one of two decisions we either decide to go through the gate of resentment which leads to vengeance which leads to self-harm which leads to harm to others or we go through the gate of forgiveness which leads to grace and uh your being here is an indication that you've made that decision already. You've made the decision to walk through the gate of forgiveness to grace, just as Christ did on the cross. He suffered terribly, and he was broken by it to the point of doubt and a feeling of absolute abandonment, which all of you felt. And uh, then there was a decision to be made. And the decision was to look upon the people who were causing that suffering or the situation that was causing that suffering with compassion and with forgiveness. And that's what opens the gates of heaven for all of us. So I wish that for all of you. I wish that for myself. I know that you know, no matter what I've suffered, most of you have suffered worse than that. But that's why I admire you, because you're here, you know? And you will have grace, because this decision has been made. So I'm so glad to be with you and uh, to be a part of this. Thank you, Father Greg. Thank you, John. Dear brothers and sisters, the words of Jim Carrey are truly moving. And today, reflecting on his life and trials, we can find inspiration. His journey reminds us that, despite the challenges and tragedies that life may hold for all of us, there is always the possibility of rebirth and renewal through faith. Jim Carrey's story is a powerful testament to how, even in the darkest moments, we can find light, if only we are willing to search for it with an open heart and a renewed spirit. Has Jim Carrey's story inspired you? 
let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new videos and join our community of faith and prayer. May God bless us all.